All right, ready to go. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome to the January 26, uh, 2023 Town of Eastchester Planning Board meeting. So I'll rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm -hmm. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. all right, my name is Phil Nemesek. I'm the acting chairman this evening in the absence of Jim Bonanno, who has indicated he will not be here. Uh, Mark Cunningham, another uh, board member, is also not able to attend the meeting. So I will do an abbreviated roll call. Anthony Jacoby. Present. Louis Campana. Present. All right. Uh, I have indicated to Margaret that I have reviewed the minutes of the December 1st, 2022 planning board meeting and have no revisions to that. So I make a motion to approve the minutes of the December 1st, 2022 planning board meeting. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Uh, I will just, we have two items that are on for today in this order. The first will be application 22-16 Chow Restaurant, which is located at 5-7 JR Albanese Place. The second item uh, is application 23-01 Patisserie, uh, which is 455 slash 453 White Plains Road. There are several items, or at least two items, that have been adjourned. So if, uh, if anyone here, <coughs> excuse me, came for either of these uh, two applications or if any of the members of our sizable viewing audience at home have tuned in for these applications, uh, they are not going to be heard today. And that is application 21-17, which is 15 Tuckahoe, Tuckahoe Avenue subdivision. And the second application, again, that will not be heard, it's been adjourned to the February 23rd, 2023 meeting is application 23-02, which is a beach, uh, 203 Beach Street subdivision. Okay, so uh, without any further delay, let's get to the, uh, the two applications that are before us today, starting with application 22-16, Chow Restaurant 5-7, J.R. Albanese Place. Let's see Tom Abalama. <laughs> his colleague. Good evening. My, this is Tom Abilama. How are you? Um, this is uh, in regards to Chow, and uh, we went for, for the planning board a few months, and we revised uh, the, the first floor, the second floor on top with the roof. Uh, and, uh, and we can go to show you how, what, what else happens in here as far as the architectural review board. And, uh, and Kasturi from my office, she's gonna talk about the rest of the thing. Take, take the phone. Good evening, I'm Kasturi Mohanty. I work with Tama Bilama Architects. Um, <clears throat> so we had come before you, like Tom said, a couple of months ago, and we've added uh, a system here called the Biot system, which is different from what we had before, and we've already gone before the ARB, and we also are showing uh, the comments that were made about uh, matching the existing roof with the system and also the entrance awning that was on the side to match with it with uh, its with the metal stand standing seam roof and um, the biot system comes with a retractable roof uh, a ceiling 
and it's and the lighting is integrated within that ceiling, uh, actually on the frame, and um, the vertical the um, sides are a Nana bifold wall system, uh, so they all open up. So 180 days of the year, you know, the, it's usable as an open space, open to the sky and to, to the uh, walls. So it's a beautiful, sleek system that, you know, is manufactured with everything integrated in it, including the drainage gutter system and um, also structurally sound to take the snow load. Um, so uh, we also have an additional kitchen that was added in the, in the back. So let me go to the plan. So on the site plan, do you so additional kitchen, which is about uh, six feet below the parking space, so we have to walk down to it. We have a flow drain there, which we only need one um, um, for the storm water, <coughs> yeah, so 280 HD um, reservoir, and then there is, um, this area is only for sink and work table and a preparation area that's been added on to the existing kitchen. It's about 240 square feet. And then um, the outside, it will um, match with the existing stucco that's already there. And then we uh, have a metal railing here horizontally, horizontal um, intermediate trails. So that's the existing, the way it was designed by our office. And um, we're keeping all that as is. Um, and above, the wood trellis is being removed, uh, and that's where we're adding uh, 511 square feet of covered space, which is going to be covered by the Bayard metal structure. So that's our um, new proposed elevations. And that's the surrounding um, buildings and the system that we built, as well as uh, we're gonna get. Mr. Abulam, if you could just pick up the microphone. Sure. So, uh, this is the, the 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 new system that we're working with right now. These are and examples from other locations. Is that what you're showing here in the photograph? Yeah, the same thing. Yes, yeah. exactly. And these are just designs of of we, we provided from other structures from, from just to show how they can work for the roof as well as the open, opening uh, uh, of the windows if there's possible. And uh, so this is the details that we, we came up from. Uh, and, uh, and this is the Nana wall that shows the windows they can open up from the roof, uh, fr from the house, from the building. And then I'd like to show you also the, uh, in, the in general, we're gonna show you how here the existing, the, the, the building that we have, we have, we're showing the new uh, uh, roof on top of the, uh, the existing uh, patio. Uh, that now be enclosed, uh, uh, and uh, and we have a an area in the kitchen here in the back, which uh, would, and also we're doing some work around uh, for the refuse area, um, and uh, uh, you know we we provide all the items that are required for the code, for the parking, and uh, as well as the landscaping we provided, and. Uh, and that's what we have really in general. And we have Zef from, you can come over, Develchik, Mr. Develchik here. And you know, if you ask him any questions also, you can tell us if you need him to talk, please. 
you got engineers, architects here, but I'm going to say, <laughs> you want me to cook something? <laughs> yes. uh, I, I do have a question. The, the, um, I believe uh, Ms. Mohanty mentioned that the intention is to, to have this sort of open air roughly half the year. And I would say yeah, weather permitting. six months of the year, yes, yeah, yeah. yes exactly. Um, That's what I'm hoping for. So, so uh, but, but it will be in use all year round, one way yes. or the other. Okay. And right now, with the existing, I think there's a pergola wooden, yes. wooden structure, what, what usage do you get from this Probably right I now? get good 40 days a year, to be honest with you. Okay, so between rain, cold weather, hot in summer, the biggest problem I have on busy nights, if I sit people outside, it start raining, yeah. there's no place to put them. Yes. Okay. Space-wise, I have enough space inside, but people want to sit outside, and it's, it's a, that's the biggest problem I have. Okay. Uh, I, I don't have any further questions of you, but I do have some questions. I, I, I want to, I, I'm trying to figure out exactly how this structure works, how the roof is, is and, and the, uh, the doors, the, the bifold wall system, the bifold is like, how all of that works. Bifold is, yeah. is, is individual, doesn't, doesn't yeah. fold one side. Well, I'll, let the, the, uh, I'll let Mr. Abalama and Ms. Yeah, Mohanty explain to me um, exactly how, the, how it works. And, and, and for example, uh, you did mention it will be able to bear, like if, there, if snow were to fall on it, it's not all gonna crumble. Right. Okay. So explain this. Explain the strength to me. Explain, you know, how it's going to stand up to the very worst weather we get in here in the Northeast, and 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 what it, you know, how uh, how you intend on on transitioning from uh, a, a, let's call it an outdoor usage to an enclosed usage, and how frequently you intend on do that. How how long does it take? Is it something you can do overnight? Is it something you you, you need a little more time. Tell me about that. So the system works that we can, we can open up every windows uh, with the nano walls that we have that can open up all the way. Then the roof itself, we can remove, uh, we can move everything back, convertible, it's called a convertible system that can allow everything to go all the way out and open up to the, to the sky. Now, what we have also, when it cold, when when it closed in here, it can close for the whole snow that can go and up to more than thirty uh, pounds as per the code requires. And if I understand, that can allow sixty pounds. Okay. So that's that's how it is. Is it retractable? Does it does it right. fold into like uh, how, how what what is it? So there's a remote control mm -hmm. that uh, it either you can lever it like that or you can uh, move it all the way, way back. So it's, it's like a convertible, mm -hmm. so so it, it just folds to one side. Right, so it acts as a protection from the weather, also a shading element, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. and, and can that be done instantaneously? Or right, yeah, within okay. five yeah, that's, minutes. That's instantaneous or... enough. Okay, it, it, it's not a, an involved operation. Yeah. So if, 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 you, if it's a hot day, no risk of, of any rain, but it, the, the sun is just beating down on your your uh, patrons. You can you can, you can open the, on an angle. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, good. And 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 the I guess the one of my main concerns was will it support um, the, the require you know whatever our requirements are. Yeah. yeah. That your snow load is always examined as part of the plan review. Yeah. And so it, even if you approved it, it wouldn't get a permit if it didn't meet those requirements. Okay. <laughs> yep, all right, fair enough. Mr. Abalama, can you go to the floor plan um, on A3? I guess it, just, it better clarifies how the system, I think, would work in this scenario. I don't know if you can zoom in with the video or not, but. Yeah, Harry can do it. I know he go. can. I can. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. Good. So uh, th this is how the windows, they open up on the side, and uh, this is how to open up everything that we have yeah. through, the, through the whole house. Right. Through, through the and and uh, as I understand it, uh, you, you were before the Architectural Review Board 
earlier this month at the January yes. 5th meeting. And, okay. And, and that's the change that, uh, that they required, yeah. as you probably know, that the original red color that we have and the roof, that we kept it to be, to remain as the, the gray that we have in here. Yeah, the, I, I think the, that's the a very positive yeah. change because I think it looks far more integrated. I mean, as it is, it, 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 it's, it's a different, it, it's plainly distinct from the balance of the building and it's a, it, it's a different feature, but, but at least by making it um, the same shades uh, as yeah. opposed to that stark juxt juxtaposition of, of a red roof and, and you know, I, I think it integrates the, the, um, the building quite a bit more significantly. And uh, I believe that was the only condition uh, yeah. under which it was referred to the planning board. Um, that you so. change the existing red roof. Right. Okay. So, uh, d tell me a little bit more. The the um, kitchen, the, the 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 kitchen area in the back. What's <coughs> is that an an actual um, addition? Uh, I, I, have you have you built out in that area, or do you intend on building out, or is so it just if you, a if you modification? Can you can yes. I'm sorry. So what happened is that the way the, 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 the first floor comes in, comes in below of the roof uh, mm -hmm. from the outside, oh. and then goes down about four and a half feet really below from the... Yep. So, so we only have about nine foot or nine foot six high of the kitchen in here. And, um, and, and really that's all what we have as, as, as on top. Then we have the, uh, as you, we, we told you. But my, my question really is, are you, are you building out new space in the kitchen or is just put providing a new access to it? So okay. now, if you look in space. here. Okay, the, yeah, okay, that's, got it. And, and a new space with a, with a new access in the back. Yes. Yeah, because I see the, in the illustration, I guess it's in the bottom left-hand corner. Yes. Um, uh, the steps. Yeah, the steps going down, so that's that's clear. Okay, got it. All right, uh, I I don't have any further questions on this. I think it's uh, it, it, as presented this evening. Um, I, I I think it's addressed the issues that the ARB uh, had, and you've answered my questions regarding, uh, in particular, the the new structure, um, which is the I, I think the centerpiece of this uh, renovation. Um, and, and I think it looks uh, it looks pretty nice. So, Chairman, uh, did, did you want to review the samples? I guess they have. Uh, sure. That's, uh, I think we'd be happy to do that. Yeah, let's. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you have do you have a sample of the uh, the roof the roofing the new roofing? So the this yeah. black one here, yeah. that charcoal color, yeah. Okay. Right. Um, well, uh, I before I you a, before yeah. you go to the public hearing, can I just make one comment? Sure. With <laughs> with regard to the awning, you, you know the entrance awning that you're also showing as a standing seam roof. Actually, awnings, even part of a planning board application, still require review and approval by the sign committee. That, that's much more informal. We, oh. you know, we can kind of integrate it. Mm -hmm. Technically, the metal awnings aren't permitted, um, but they may like it under these circumstances. So I just wanted to give you a heads up about okay. that. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's the one over the side entrance? Yes. Over the main entrance? Yeah. Yep. There we go. All right. So. I make a motion to open the public hearing. I believe on it's open. Is it? Is it? it uh, I know. I thought we only had a, an last initial Last time it was preliminary. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I make a motion to open the public hearing for application 22-16 Chow Restaurant, 5-7 J.R. Albanese Place. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, any member of the public here to speak of this? Uh, on this? No. <laughs> All right. Unnamed member of public phrases. It. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, uh, so, with uh, no members of the public um, 
uh, willing to step up to the mic and praise it, I make a motion to close the public hearing on application 22-16 Chow Restaurant. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any further questions from my colleagues here? No. I think you're gonna get a lot of people looking up, like, how does this work? <laughs> you know, they're gonna wanna put this in their backyard, so it's a good idea, <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, so, um, yeah, I make a motion to approve. Pat, you have to adopt a negative declaration. Oh, approved. that's right, yeah, yeah, uh, okay. I make a motion uh, to adopt a negative declaration for application 22-16 Chow Restaurant, 5-7 J.R. Albanese Place. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And now, I make a motion to approve application 22-16 Chow Restaurant, 5-7 J.R. Albanese Place, uh, and subject to the conditions that well, I think we already have this. We, the, the red shingle roof is being replaced uh, by the French gray standing seam roof. Uh, and that the, as Margaret mentioned, the proposed awning uh, has to be reviewed and approved by the town's sign review committee. So subject to those conditions, I make a motion to approve this application. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Very good. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Best of luck. Take care. Notes in front of <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Be nice. Thank you. Take care. That's a great idea. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This was this was a lot more practical. I think it, it fills it. Yeah. Oh, I hate it when you. Have to <laughs> Very small period, yeah. you know. <laughs> but, but if it starts raining, all of a sudden, like, yeah. you're crammed into a restaurant. Like, yeah. They don't really have the seat. <laughs> all right. Let's see, here's the with this. All right, when they're, yeah. when they're ready. All right, next we have application 23-01, patisserie uh, 455 slash 453, White Plains Road. Hello. Mm -hmm. oh, um, we need you to uh, speak into the microphone. We have a stenographer that takes the transcripts. You can bring it around here if you yeah. need. I'll just do it from here. George, can you yeah. join me over there? George Pater's the architect for the project. Um, Angelo Costa, Costa Architecture and Engineering. It's my office. Uh, he's the uh, project architecture on this project. Um, so I think this has been looked at before, um, not in a public hearing, but what we are here for is for a special permit um, because the uh, maximum allowable square footage for this type is 1,800 square feet in an RB district, residential B district, uh, resident, uh, retail business, retail business district. So it's maxed out at 1,800 square feet. This is larger than that. Um, there's about almost twice that amount, um, and because of that, we need a special permit because of its size. The space was originally occupied by a music education studio, and that use had a requirement for 89 parking spaces, and that got a variance to accept the 14 that were existing back in May of 2018. We are substantially reducing the demand. Um, there was a lot of people who would have children there doing music education, and cars would be pulling up and leaving. This is going to be a patisserie uh, bakery, kosher bakery. Um, the baking is basically done in off-premises in a, in a facility in New Jersey, and they will be bringing in fresh, really fine, fine pastries every day um, and unloading at the back of the property through the parking lot in the back. 
Um, there the products are assembled in the lower level and parts of the facility that are set up for setting up the pastries and then there's a service area and a small sitting area. So that's in essence what's happening. Um, we have this, the full zoning analysis here. There is uh, total parking spaces where there's a variance required, but that was what was granted in May, and we basically cut in half what that was done for the previous use. Um, uh, the only, uh, then the only other reason why we're here for, is for the special permit, because this particular uh, use is limited by the district to 1,800 square feet, and we're more like 30, Five thirty-seven, um, uh, th total thirty-eight sixty-one uh, for the print the building coverage, and we're, and we're basically in that entire section. Um, we can go through the basic layout. You can see where we are. We're right on White Plains Road and Crest. There's right now a one, it's labeled as a one-way entrance into the parking lot here, um, and that was because there was traffic from the previous users where the parents would be coming up to pick up the kids, and they had to get off the road, go to the back, and then when they came out, it's a one-way ticket this way, and they would basically have to exit through what is turning is really a residential community behind it. Uh, that can be changed. We talked about that with the owner, uh, the, the tenant, uh, so that this could be turned into just the other way around. This is a, this is a one-way street going this way. And rather than having the people back up onto the street to pick up their children, they made this the turn. What we might do, and I have no problem in doing, is making this the entrance into the parking in the back and this the way out, which solves that problem. And they're not going to have that kind of traffic problem. There's also across the street uh, the public parking lot here, which is literally a block, you know, a block and a half away. So it's very easy to come in there. It's just short term, people, coffee, pastries, and leaving. It's, and it's not that large uh, crowd, nobody's hanging out and partying there all night kind of thing. It's a kosher bakery. Um, and, uh, and so that, that was, that's really what's happening. Uh, there's no plan changes to the outside of the building other than putting up a sign, um, non-illuminated sign. Uh, there's, you can see there's a food prep area down in the basement. They can come in through the back of the property, go down into the basement, do the food prep in here and in here. Large walk-in freezer, uh, coolers and freezers. Uh, and this is where the food prep area is. There'll be two people down there. And then of course they can come upstairs, do the service to the general public for the bakery out in the front and a little sitting area here for coffee and pastries on the other half of the, uh, of the property. Um, and that's it, there's, there's no changes to the structure on the outside, no one's painting, no one's changing windows, nobody's changing doors, none of the entrances are changing. We are, correct me if I'm wrong, we're adding a stair, this stair, so that uh, we can have that back entrance, uh, when they, so that they can come in and get into the basement from the outside, they can go down into the new staircase. So this staircase is being put in. Uh, this is existing. None of the other front of the building is being modified. Uh, so that's the scope. No changes to the elevations other, other than the signage. All right. Um, it's, although the owner owns two or three other option, places that we're working with, um, the name has changed. Slightly, so it's not a, it's not a um, franchise, um, and it's all custom made and different. Yeah, it, the menu's different, um, and uh, the, the, the name is different. So it's it's unique. No changes. This is the existing building on the outside. Uh, no change to the outside whatsoever. Nothing really to show. Nothing to say. Building. No changes to the outside. The only thing might be changing, uh, which is what I'm recommending, change the direction of the pattern of traffic, which I think will, facilitate, will, will be much better.
I do. I, I used to bring both of my daughters to the School. Crestwood Music Center, both before the substantial renovation to the building and after. And I, I can tell you that is a very tight alley. And you better decide one way or the other. You that is not a two. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which, um, um, yeah. yeah. Mr. Chairman, do we have to address if they reroute the traffic there? If the ongoing concern is going to be um, deliveries on a daily basis, uh, do we have to kind of look at that? A truck can get in and out of there, especially with that tight alley. If it's rerouted, well, they're, they're, I don't think a truck's going down that alley. I don't think a truck needs to go down that alley. Um, you know, I, I, w I would assume that a truck would be able to just back out, but but uh, I don't know if that's a consideration that's been. I mean, they do. You have a there is a loading area on the site, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, in the in the back, there's, there's so parking the here, street. parking there, and there's a little bit of a loading area here. So when, what, when what, you, what type of vehicle would be delivering goods here? Is it a van? Is van it a, yeah. type size? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah no, yeah. We're, we're not talking large trucks. Yeah. It's not Dunkin' Donuts here. I, I didn't this is think custom. So. This is, yeah, this isn't on-demand uh, bakery and so they're going to be f being fresh stuff in every morning Wagons. and <laughs> pack it in and it's mostly supplies because they make it fresh downstairs or they put it together downstairs um you know stuff the stuff in there the creams and things like that and a lot of those products are going to be already in the freezers and uh refrigerators in the cellar okay. um tell me uh, th this is a um it, it, again, I'm familiar with the structure from when it was a music center, uh, and, and I guess there's there's a, a barber shop right next door. Side, I guess the south side of the structure that's going to remain there, and this is going to be, I guess, on the north side of the structure. Is that is it? Take uh, up and the basically, entire? I think north. Yeah, yeah. This is north. Mm -hmm. And does it take up sort of the the northern, let's say, two thirds of the structure? The whole exist. What was the existing building? The whole, the whole building. These are really two separate buildings. Uh, looks like one. Yes. Goes out. Okay. Uh, yeah, the barber shop is further to the left uh, on, on that. Okay. I know what you're showing us is uh, it, it, the food preparation is in a is in a basement. Right. Okay. I can't say I it was in the basement. Um, but uh, I, I was on the first floor, and I know that there's also a second floor. It's very uh, visible. What, what is going to be on the second floor, and is that going to be accessible from the, 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 the space. not from the right. space? That's okay. what this the stair there's, there's there. There's a stair here, and there's, there's a lobby, lobby here. here that also accesses mm -hmm. the stair and the elevator the second floor. Okay, no got access it. from the bakery. No access from the bakery. Okay, so the stair that's on the far right um, is that a stair going down? Or is this that is going up to the second floor. This is car, that's what's there now. Got it. As their exit, as one of their main, you know, uh, required second exit through there. Yeah. I noticed in the basement that you have a garbage storage room, a refrigerated storage room. What are the plans for garbage pickup? Right, so have? garbage will be picked up on a regular basis. For, okay, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Is it private carding, the uh, every okay, so time the guy drops things off, he can pick things up. Okay. So. Uh, and, and again, the garbage will be kept inside until it's sorry. picked up. Correct. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it, I think it's. All a, trash produced will be stored, refrigerated trash. Yeah. 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 Storage room in the cellar until it's ready for pickup. Yeah. So it's, and it's again, the, in here. The, the planning board has heard that a lot, but that's, that's become a big issue with restaurants and commercial properties with the dumpsters outside and just having maintenance issues, uh, so yeah, that's this great. Is, so we have a refrigerated garbage storage area. And yeah, anything with that food, we, we, we definitely don't want any problems with unwelcome visitors. Um, and, 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 and certainly well, up here smell. you get raccoons. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah well, that's, they're unwelcome as well. I know, I've uh, had one as a pet, so. <laughs> Um, um, they, they belong in our sewers, not in so the dumpsters. There, there really is nothing of, of any great concern here. And like I said, we've reduced the traffic, if anything. Um, it's a service retail. And the actual portion being serviced is, for the eating area, is quite that large. And this is mostly you know, daily traffic or short-term traffic. Is the, is the parking in a, 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 the parking area in the, the back? Is that shared with the um, barbershop? The barbershop? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Three, three, because I know that that's free parking. Uh, you, you go across the street and you, it's metered parking. Right. So most people, uh, like myself, 
for free to metered. Sure. Uh, so I would think that you know, but but obviously there's nothing available in the yeah. in the free area. Metered is the next best choice. But there is a pretty abundant parking. Especially uh, if you're just going in for a quick cup of coffee and a nice, I don't know, mm -hmm. piece of pastry. What about the uh, hours of operation? Uh, I believe it's from 8 to 8, to 8 right? Oh, wow. 8 to 8. And what days of the week? Uh, only closed on Saturday. Sunday to Friday. Closed on Saturdays. Friday is closed by sundown. Observe the yes. The major ones, oh, or, or, <laughs> or all of them? <laughs> Plan ahead. <laughs> all right. Um, I, I don't have ahead. any further yeah. questions. Yeah. Well, uh, let's make a motion. Yeah. Let's, 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 no, that's it. No, no further okay. questions. All right. I make a motion to open the public hearing on application 23-01, Patisserie 455-453, White Plains Road. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Members of the public, here's your opportunity. <laughs> you better not object to your own project. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, not hearing anyone, I make a motion to close the public hearing on application 23-01, Patisserie 455-453, White Plains Road. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. And it looks like a very uh, well-conceived plan. Um, it looks like you've addressed pretty much anticipated most of our concerns. And, um, you know, I, I, I like the fact that you have the refrigerated uh, uh, garbage, garbage area, which, uh, you know, again, is uh, a plus here. And the pastries. The pastries, nice yes, too, yes, yes. Well, you know, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> uh, so under the circumstances, I make a motion to approve application 23-01 patisserie 455-453 White Plains Road. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. All right. Thank you. Uh, Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right. And our final order of business here, um, I make a motion to close the January 26, 2023 Town of Eastchester <coughs> Planning Board meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. All right. Aye. Thank you. Thank you.